sportsman's box showed up in the mail. So we're going to go through it and uh, check everything out and see what we got. And kind of a little unboxing here. Um, we're doing it at the, in the evening time here at the house because I take off in a day and a half pretty much for the Kayabab for seven days uh, guiding deer hunters. Back so, out at it. Yep, so it's a busy time of year. I'm not home very much this time of year with all the hunting. So we're kind of taking advantage of every second we get to get some videos put together for you guys. Um, we're also going to be doing a little uh, clip on how to tell um, if an antler, a set of antlers is a set to the same deer and or multiple years off that deer. I, I've been getting that question a lot lately from guys, from you guys, uh, asking how we know for sure it's a set and or how do we know it's, yeah, it's the same deer and, and kind of what we look for and, and how we kind of break it all down. It's really, it's, uh, it's not too hard. Um, it just takes practice and you guys will get it. You'll see, I'll show you what to do and how to do it. And then, uh, We'll keep going. I don't know. I might even I might even squeeze in uh, some antlers. You know how to, how we score um, based off of Boone and Crockett and stuff. So uh, we'll see. Scoring's my favorite. Yeah, she loves scoring. <laughs> um, we got Remy up here chilling with us tonight. She wants yeah, to see what's in the box too, huh? She wants to be a YouTube star. Maybe. Oh, maybe we need to. Uh, maybe we need to get Sportsman's box to start throwing in a dog treat. Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. There you go, Sportsman's Box. You heard it here first. Most hunters have dogs. I mean, there are cats out there, but really, you know, cat. I'm just kidding. Dog if you're a cat person, people. that's good. I don't care. I'm a dog person. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, yeah. So. All right. Okay, I'll hold this. We got our October Sportsman's Box, and it is chock full of awesome stuff this month. Like, way worth its uh, value, for sure. Oh, yeah. This, it's, it's, it's got an $80 value, and it's very well worth every penny you pay. So what do we got in there first? We got some, right. Uh, all right, so we got the AccuBlue uh, replacement stickers for the AccuBlue Acu targets there. Yeah, the paper target, which we're gonna go take these out to get my gun sighted in for my hunt. Yeah, which we're gonna is, get that done. It's actually only in a few days, but. Actually, yeah, actually her hunt starts Saturday. Her hunt opens Saturday. But the Kayabab Arizona hunt starts Friday, and I've got two clients. I got a two on one on the Kayabab this year. And uh, so she's actually, I got a seven day. She's going to miss the first seven days of the hunt, and we're going to try to get it done the last two days of the hunt. So the pressure will be on. Yeah. So, so my gun will definitely need to be. <laughs> we're going to make sure it's on money. But on unless, you know, she gets it done the first half hour of, of the, her first day of the last two days of the hunt. So. <laughs> the first half hour. That is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Might have to shoot my gun. I don't know. All right. What we got next? We got stick control spray. You have a lot of uh, experience with. Yeah. Um, I don't. It's a Remington product, guys. I mean, how can you go wrong? Remington, everything they make is dependable, reliable, and uh, just great great stuff I mean they don't they don't cut corners and, and they don't put their name on anything that's not legit so yeah there you have it in our one of our boxes that we got a couple months ago we got some um, some like hand washing stuff which has been really awesome to have on hand um, while we're out in the hills and stuff mm -hmm. you know and I'm gonna have to say honestly guys I, I'm not a big scent control person I don't use scent control um, I, uh, it's not that I don't think it works. I just don't think that you can, you can take away the smell from uh, a, a deer or an elk or, or any animal really for that matter. I think the like human, that. the human odor is just way too strong no matter what you do. So I, I prefer trying to keep the wind right as opposed to relying on something that is a scent control. But I do know for a fact that there are guys out there that'll swear up and down by this stuff. I have used it, um, and maybe it's time I try it again. I mean, yeah. we got it now. now so you got a bottle. Give it another try. You might actually change mine. Yeah, who knows? I might be buying this stuff. So thanks, Remington. And Sportsman's Box. And Sportsman's Box. Oh, you're gonna like this one. <laughs> Look at that. Have a lot of knives. You guys already have one of these. You can't go wrong with one of these. Big fan. At all. Let's have see what we got here. It's the Piranha 60 Edge. You could cut your fingers off in a quick hurry with these. So. <laughs> yeah, everybody I know has uh, kind of wrecked themselves a little bit with the Havilah. Yeah. 
I, uh, I've been pretty fortunate and I've never cut myself with one, but if you look at every finger on my left hand, I, I have no issues cutting myself. I, yeah. They're <laughs> I good pretty knives. much had sti uh, stitches in every finger on the left hand. So. Plus I like that you can replace the blades out yeah. the middle, just super easy. You guys know, I mean really, you guys know what this is all about. Comes in the sportsman's box though, I mean, yeah. super yeah. nice. You can never have too many Havilon knives. Yeah, and they always think of great things that you'll need for that month, so it's it's always stuff that you're going to use right away. You don't have to like... Yeah, I so far guys, I haven't got anything in one of these boxes yet. I have not used. I And I'm honestly, I mean that. So, yeah, check it out. I have one knives in the sportsman's box right there. Sweet. Okay, what else we got in there? We have a phone scope. Ah, the universal Maybe adapter. The universal optic adapter. Justin is uh, is a good dude. It's, I mean, this is this stuff's legit. I run phone scope already. Um, love it. Makes things nice. I pretty much do 90% of all my video on YouTube, guys. Is I would say 95%, if not higher, is all through my iPhone. Uh, yeah. 6S. It's because it's so much easier, it's so much more convenient to have to... I always have it. I use my iPhone for everything. Yeah. I have my GPS. I have replaced my, you know, $400 Garmin GPS's with my iPhone. I've replaced yeah. hundreds of thousands of dollars of cameras with my iPhone. Um, 4K video. I, and, yeah, definitely and, a tool that... And now, and with the phone scope kit, it just pretty much added a, a high-end lens to my my 4K video camera. Yeah. So you don't have a whole bunch of bulky bags and stuff. Eventually, like, well, it's probably something we're gonna have to like break. Oh yeah, I mean, one day. We do, if, but this stuff for us, for DIY, being out there, it works perfect. And um, going light. Yeah, phone scope is a great product. Also, with this month, um, you can get you log on to the website and they have a discount worked out for you so that you can get the other parts that you'll need. Right on. Thanks. So uh, get your phone scope going. Thanks guys. Appreciate the uh, hookup on the universal adapter. Yeah. Now, like I said, Justin's a good dude. Go check his stuff out. I I wouldn't hesitate to recommend, I'm not rec I wouldn't hesitate recommending anything from uh, the guys at phone scope. They're, uh, they're good people. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, what do we got there? This? I don't know. What's uh, the card say? Well, it is. It's a little holder. Some sort. Of oh, is it the blade remover for the knife? Aha! Uh -huh, there we go. <laughs> it's a pill bottle. That's there you go. Like a pill box. <laughs> Obviously, too many people are jacking themselves up that uh, Havilon has gone out and designed a blade That's remover. That's smart. Very cool. Right on. I don't know. I think if you're dumb enough to cut yourself, you don't deserve one of these. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, obviously. <laughs> yeah, you've uh, you've done a lot of damage. I got a couple buddies that have done done some damage with the Havilons. Cool. Then we got a packet of um, coffee. Kuju. Yeah, which is really awesome because you just put it right into your pack, and you basically just need hot water, and you're ready to drink your coffee in the field. It'll give you some extra energy. I'm pretty stoked about this, guys. This is uh, I'm a new coffee yeah. drinker. <laughs> Um, as of uh, this year on the archery hunt, I didn't. I used to be a big time energy drink drinker. I, I would have basically a rock star every morning, like yeah. coffee, for me, knowing how bad they are for me and and how much uh, stuff that's in them that you really don't need in you at all. Um, I've switched to coffee now. Coffee is not. I wouldn't say coffee is the best, but also coffee is not that bad, really, in all honesty. <laughs> Um, it's got a lot of, it's, the antioxidants and coffee is better unreal. for you than a rock. So, <laughs> like I said, I'm new to coffee and this right here is, uh, yeah, is pretty be intriguing. Awesome for you to try especially. Yeah, if I can put one of those in my pack, okay. we're, we'd be set. Check it out. Could you copy? We will be doing, Britt will be doing uh, a video on this stuff here. Yeah, I'm going to give it a too. test out in the field and. I'll let you guys know how uh, how it turns out. Yeah, yeah. So what okay, else we got? We done? And um, well, as always, every month um, 
people that uh, buy a Sportsman's Box, if they post a picture of their box and they hashtag it Sportsman's Box on Instagram, um, they get put in for a drawing. And this month is a Stanley 30 quart adventure cooler, which we can all use. Yeah, and it's Stanley. I'm all about Stanley. Yeah, he's a big, uh, he's a big supporter of the Stanley. You guys can have your Yetis and, and Grizzlies and all those. I, I'm He's the old school. <laughs> so, I love Stanley. I got a sweet coffee mug. Yeah, Stanley. you get you get that as an option in your sportsman's box. Um, like we say, you know, this is just an awesome product uh, to give as gifts. Christmas is coming. Yeah, guys. I mean, uh, yeah. this is a this the is job a job is taken care of for you, and 12, you get awesome stuff. You know, all twelve months of the year, you're basically it's a gift that keeps giving. Yeah, and they're I setting you up for that month. Way better than any socks, any underwear, yeah, any of that other BS that you women think we need or want. You well, and like wives that maybe don't hunt or aren't into that, they don't necessarily know the things that right. you would want. So this is taken care of for you. You don't need to know because Sportsman's Box knows what you need. Yep. So. Yes, they do. So Very right nice. on. Super cool. Super cool box. I'm yeah. stoked. I mean, this is that's pretty rad right there. That have one knife, phone scope adapter. I mean. We are set. We are. Thanks, Sportsman's Box. As always, you guys nailed it, and uh, we appreciate everything you do. Yeah, yeah. So. See you guys later. Later. All right, here we go, guys. We are going to go over how we tell if uh, it's a set or the same deer uh, multiple years. Um, kind of the things we look for and what we look at to, to kind of... Uh, make our decision um, and that's if you don't have trail cam pictures of the deer you haven't seen the deer you know nothing about the deer um, we got some we got a few antlers here I mean really we've got a, we've got a lot of antlers we could use for display but these ones are, are actually um, we got this brown set right here or is it a set is it a set believe it or not guys it's symmetrical and similar as that is that is not a set, nope. but that is the same deer, and it's actually the same antler. This deer switches sides every year with his antlers. Every single year he grows, he swaps sides. So, and we have video of this deer. We know this deer very well. Yes. Um, Britt actually has found both of these sheds. So yeah, that's back-to-back -back years of the same deer. Can get a little tricky. Yeah, it can. As you can see. <laughs> but one of the biggest things we always look at first, guys, obviously, is is the pedicle. The reason we look at the pedicle because the pedicle is basically like the fingerprint of the antler. Mm -hmm. um, none of them are none of them are the same, but each of them are unique to the. They deer. all have like so much character, like it's crazy. Yeah, and the thing about them too is they they don't ever change. They get bigger. Or, you know, they start small, they get bigger. They can some very rarely, though. But the only time they'll ever change is if it's damaged really bad. Um, I don't know what happens mm -hmm. to damage one. It's, it's rare. But um, for the most part, guys, that is the fingerprint of the deer, this antler. So to find multiple years and stuff, it's nice to be able to just kind of compare. And if you look at this antler, I'm going to come in close here. If you look at this antler right here, can you see? You can see the similarities in that pedicle. I'm trying to figure out how to hold it here so you guys can see with one hand and still, one? still be able to point at it. Okay, so yeah. so basically on the uh, sorry the front side on both it's raised up the same. It dips it dips down the same in the back. It's basically a mirror image of each other. Just one is a little bit bigger than the other. Can you see that? Now, from there, we go to certain things like the ridge of the antler. This ridge is always going to be here. Let me step up light here. That ridge right there is the same on these antlers. You know, eye guards will go away and get shorter. Um, tines, they'll lose tines. They'll, they'll add tines. But there's certain things that are always the same. How the main beams turn is usually always the same. The G4s, um, they don't change too often on certain things like that. See the palmation on this buck? On the back side of the G2, G3 right here? 
where it comes together, it's the same round palmation. You know, there's, there's certain little things like that. But really, guys, the biggest thing is always the bases. We always look at the bases. And, if, and we'll do some examples here. So that's the same beer two years in a row. Now we've got another setup, same thing. Same beer, two different years. Now the, there's, there's actually, um, between these, there's uh, two years difference yeah. between these antlers. This is the 2012 antler. This is the 2014 antler. And if you look at these antlers, for starters, on the back sides, see how that goes? The way it is on, you know, they've got hardly any burr. You've got hardly any burr on the back side here compared to the front side where you got a big burr. And it even dips the same. See that? And then, you know, the pedicles are a little weathered on this one compared to this one, but it's still got that same deep ridge where it pulls it out of, it seems like it's deep in his head. You know, like I said, it is a little weathered. There actually are some little mice chips on it, but for the most part, you can get you can get the gist of it right there. And, that, and like I said, that's a weathered antler. This one is. This one's actually a little weathered too, but it's still nice and and sharp. But then you get in here and you start looking at that same thing it's, and same issue. We're a little weathered on this bottom antler compared to this top antler, but see that ridge. It's the same on both antlers. And there's there's three different three years apart. I mean, yeah, like I said, three yeah. there's a year in between these. So um, you start pulling in the other antler like this, the other side. Uh, let me put this one down here. And we're gonna put these ones together. You know, look at the eye guards. The eye guards are way different than from each other. You know? But you look at the bases. No burr on the back side. Same deep ridge on the outside. See that? Concaved in the middle a little bit on both sides. I mean that right there would be hard to say that's not a set. I don't care who you are. Every antler is somewhat like that guys. Or every set I should say. I mean, completely different antlers too, for the most part. I mean, yeah, the look of them. Yeah, this is this one's pretty much a five point, a solid five with a, basically a four with a split beam. This one's kind of the same. It's got a bigger split beam, bigger beam. It's got a couple extras kicking off the backside there. And then yeah, you look at this antler. You know, compared to its its year, and we've got. You know, split G3 or an inline off the G3. Missing probably a hook cheater or a cheater on that backside right there. He broke off. And uh, eye guards are smaller, pedicles are smaller. G2 is bigger on this one as opposed to this one. I mean, not much. The main beams have that, that same curl. Which yep, is main beams have that same curl. Hopefully I'm explaining this good enough for you guys. I, I'm, I don't know, I'm Kinda not a like teacher. It's hard to take it, yeah, like you just know it. So to translate the information that you know and teach somebody else about it is kind of tricky. It's tough, that's why teachers <laughs> out there are gifted people. Yeah. You should really, really, really. Hug uh, a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> My son's looking at me like, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, there you go, guys. Hopefully that helps. So you know how to uh, start deciding if you've got you know multiple years off of a buck or a match set because maybe he is super super it's, different. It's generally pretty easy if you just look for those main characteristics. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of horns out there, guys, and I'm sure we're we've picked up our fair share that we didn't even realize they were sets, mm -hmm. um, just because each antler was so different that we didn't even bother yeah, looking. Yeah, they just didn't even. We didn't even bother looking at the pedicles or, or the beams. We just automatically just assumed like mm -hmm. they weren't the same because maybe one was a big two point and the other side was like a six point or, mm -hmm. you know, um, 
we've got a lot of deer that are like that where you've got a giant left side or a weak right side and, and you don't even know unless you've physically seen the deer or you would you know yeah, spend like time going through all of them. Know something about them. Yep. So, uh, but yeah, if you ever wondered or questioned, that's the things to look for. So, thanks for watching. What's up guys? So thanks for watching all our videos. We really appreciate it and the support's been awesome. You guys, uh, you guys are awesome. We really, really appreciate everything you guys do. Make sure to go to, um, go check out Safeguard Foods and uh, use promo code uh, Welcome Antler Trader for 30% off yeah. your first order. And, and then 10% off thereafter. So. Yeah, Antler Trader promo code after that to get 10% off every single order from then on out. And guys, I mean, we've been living off the safeguard page. You're going to see more videos after these hunts are done. We'll start putting everything together. Uh, yeah, we just got back from an elk hunt, and it was it was indispensable to have that. Like, it was <laughs> so nice to be able to just put some hot water in something, stir it up, and it's cooked for you, basically. Absolutely. And then uh, we will be doing here probably in the next month or two, we're going to get it. We're still getting everything worked out, but we're going to be doing a promo code for marsupial uh, gear also for the bino harnesses and stuff that we've been using. These things are awesome. I love I mine. I love, love, love mine. Yeah, they are, they are rad. They are very well built and very well thought out. Um, the guys over there are awesome too. You guys have any suggestions or anything, they will, they will try to make stuff happen. Um, and uh, on top of it, Zona holsters. Guys, Kydex holsters. I'm loving mine. We're gonna, Me too. We're, so freaking nice to have. Yep. It hooks right onto my belt. I don't have to mess with anything. It holds it secure. I know it's not going anywhere. It doesn't get hooked up on anything. Yep. Very um, nice. But we're going to have all the links for all that stuff in the bottom description um, of every video. So if you guys ever wonder or want to check stuff out, check out the bottom description of the video. We'll have all the information there on top of uh, the promo codes. Um, the links, our links to our Instagram, Facebook, websites, all that stuff. And uh, yeah. so check them out. Thanks Make for your own decisions. In with us. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. See ya.